What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so, in the last episode we managed to battle two people, Axel and uh, our rival Michelle, and uh, we found a Farfetch that looked like a Spiro and got the HM01 cut. Now, I believe if you go right here, Yes, this guy will actually... Wait, 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 you change, takes good like that, come train with us. Okay, uh, I believe that this guy right here will actually give you a charcoal, and uh, yeah. It will actually uh, help you with the fire-type Pokemon. Unfortunately, we don't have a fire-type Pokemon right now. Yeah, kind of looking into that right now. Uh, so, we're going to be going into uh, the Ilex Force and completing this whole thing, because I'm afraid that there's going to be a little bit more of a challenge right here now. Uh, I tried looking for some new Pokemon right here, and uh, it turns out that, yeah, you can actually find uh, Butterfree now at level 13, and uh, I did bring in a Beedrill just to cut this whole thing open. I called him Lord Needle. That's right, look at that, Lord Needle. And this is the shrine, it's in honor of the Forest Protector. Okay, so I wonder if there's a hack, or not a hack, but I wonder if there's an event where you can actually find Celebi onto this one too. And uh, let's see, right here, overgrown with trees, you can't see the sky, please watch out for items that may be dropped. Okay, so there's one item right there, which is ZX attack, and if that's the case, then I believe you can actually find, uh, yeah, the guy with the head uh, headbutt attack, and this guy with an it, or we found an antidote. So, let's see, I have a Pokemon in mind, if, uh, if that's the case right there. Again, I haven't found a solid team yet. I've only been using teams that are good against some of these Pokemon trainers or gym leaders. And let's see, what am I doing? I'm shaking trees using Headbutt. It's fun. Here, you try it too. And we get ourselves the TMO2 Headbutt. And uh, sometimes sleeping Pokemon fall out. Um, let's see. Yeah, you know what? I could teach it to somebody. And I hope that this is the same as the original version where you can actually buy a Headbutt as many times as you want. So I'm going to give this to Erwin right here, and uh, let's see what we got. Alright, let's take away Scratch since we don't really need it anymore. And uh, there you go. And look at that. Erwin learned Headbutt. That is good. That is good. Okay, so now that that's going on, let's go right ahead and try that little method right there by using uh, Erwin right here. And uh, nothing. Okay, so I'm going to be using the speed button and see what I can find. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so we're... Not finding anything at all. Holy crud. Damn! Wow, nothing. We're not finding anything at all. Holy crud. Okay. Nothing. Okay, uh... Okay, so <laughs> it's not really working at all. Let's see, we found ourselves an ether right here. And, uh, alright, well, let's see the speed button right now. See, we're hitting the same thing and nothing. I'm assuming that. Wow, uh, yeah, there is, yeah, really nothing. I think it is like same percentage if you're using Rock Smash or something. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay, so let's see what this guy has to say. Don't sneak up on me like that. Are you frightened the Pokemon away? Okay, so we got another battle. And uh, it looks like the... Yeah, his name is Walt. And it looks like it's a job for the speed button right here. So, again, non-important battles are going to be speed buttoned. And, uh, yeah, everything else is just, you know, in between. So let's go with Toxic Batman right here. And bite this crud out of... Bite the crud out of this Paris right here, and uh, crud, it still did, it does have its effects for right here. Here we go, come on, wake up, come on, Toxic Batman, what are you doing? See, I'm doing the play-by-play -play in the speed button version, and uh, yes. Alright, you hadn't seen those Pokemon before, okay, so that is that, and uh, I'm going to try it again. Yeah, there's nothing, okay, so... No matter how many times we try it, yeah, you're not going to be able to find a Pokemon, so... Yeah, that's complete bullshit, and, uh, maybe... Hold on. Probably because I had to repel. Never mind. Okay, that wasn't, that wasn't from the, uh, that wasn't from the, the whole uh, tree right there. Yeah, okay, never mind. What if I go onto these, onto this grass right here? 
And like I said before, you can actually find yourself a, a Butterfree right here, so yeah, I'm not going to do that. And uh, Weedles, you can find Weedles. I don't know why I don't know why you added grass right here. And look at that, you can actually find Cascoon in here. Huh. Okay, uh, let's see, what else can you find? I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm suddenly interested in this place right here. I want to see if I can actually find a Pokemon worthwhile. And look at that, we found ourselves a Shroomish, okay. I'm going to capture this guy because I need him. I really do. Um, I checked on the Pokédex. I literally checked on the Pokédex, guys, and it said that you can't find Shroomish anywhere, but I guess uh, they like to see you right here. And uh, that is how you cat. Oh, wow. That is how you do that. Okay. All right. And we all know that Shroomish is one of my favorite Pokémon to actually capture, so let's go right ahead and try and capture this SOB. Um with a netball right here. Oh, wow. That wasn't the one that I wanted to use. Crud. I'm gonna break out of that thing. Yes! Okay, so this is a Pokemon that we definitely need. Pokemon that we love, and uh, it prefers damn places. By day, it remains still in the forest in shade. Uh, it releases toxic powder from its head. Okay, and we all know what kind of name we're gonna give this guy here. Yes, guys, we're going to name him the good old Shroom Lee right here. Alrighty. Shroom Lee. Alrighty. Look at that. Shroom Lee. Okay, so welcome to the team, and uh, look at that. Shroom Lee is looking like a, like a beast right there. Didn't know that you can actually capture it right here. Again, this game is kind of surprising me in the sense that, you know, the types of Pokemon that you can actually find right here. On top of that, the people that you can have actually battle. And this lady's like, oh honey, you're making a Pokedex? It's, it must be hard to uh, Pokemon one up here. Try using this TM. And we get ourselves a TM12, which I'm assuming is a uh, scent? Yeah, the sweet scent. Okay, so that is something else. And did you see the Shrine Knight? Yep. I already did that. Okay, never mind. I'm just going by everybody's uh, little, little speeches right there. And, uh, well... Before we do anything, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Shroomly, welcome to the team. I'm actually happy for this one Pokemon because, yeah, that's a Pokemon that eventually evolves into a fighting type Pokemon, which we will be doing probably off screen and all that stuff. Um, let's see, where is a paralysis heal? And, uh, well, luckily we're here because it's raining and now it actually has a boost on our, on our, uh, Croconaw right here. So, let's see, this is where I do my training. Okay. That's cool. Very, very cool. So let's go ahead and battle this guy. Speed button! Alright, level 18. This is going to be Water Gun Galore. Right here, because it's a boost on my Water Gun. And uh, continue on right here with Spearos. Bring your worst. That's right. And Sandshrew. Sandshrew got eliminated like that. Okay, so that was an easy battle right there. Alright, so again, my interest is high now. Let's see what kind of Pokemon we can find right here, because... If we can find some Pokemon of interest, I will be using them. And uh, here we have Pidgey. We already got that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this again. And Gulpin. Wow. These are some Pokemon that... Wow, you can actually find... Uh, well, Snubble you can actually find right here. But it's not really a good Pokemon for me. And here we have another Execute. Thought I would be using that Pokemon for my team, but really nothing. And there's Mankey. Wow, you can actually find some pretty interesting Pokemon right here. Let's see, what else can you find? A Drowsy. Okay. And Ditto. Okay, so we're gonna be need we're gonna be needing him. Let's see. Uh, water Gun. And it's transformed. Okay, so it's probably the reason why I have an Ultra Ball right here. Oh. Okay, so. Damn it. Yeah, as you can see, Ditto will not get captured that easily. Alright, you little slut. Uh, <laughs> so it looks like I'm gonna be it looks like I'm gonna be using all my Pokeballs onto this guy right here. Never mind, there it is. Ditto has been caught. And I'm assuming that I'm gonna be using this Pokemon for like everything. I can freely combine it own cellular structure, transform into other life forms. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't want to use them on my team or nickname them. I'm just going to use them as a slit. Okay, and, uh, well, we got Pokemon trainers waiting for us. So let's go right ahead and continue this whole, uh, 
speed button thing right here. So here we have Snubble versus my guy right here. Butt attack won't do anything, and there we go. So that's pretty much it right there. Again, we're going to be speed buttoning our way through this whole area right here, guys. Uh, trust me, this is a hack game, and uh, yeah, like I know more than half the stuff right here. It's just uh, the important games or important battles won't be speed buttoning anything at, at all. So here we go, another battle, and uh, let's see, she, her name is Gina, coming out with her hot pip, and uh, well, we're going to continue on with this. Actually, Leech Life would actually work perfectly on that, and uh, nope. Good God. Yeah, this Pokemon, these Pokemon trainers are tough. Tough. Let's go straight for... Actually, I, I would use Lord Needle, but no. Alright, so let's see. Bite attack. There we go. Uh, let's see, let's see. Go with Smoke. Bulbasaur. Okay, so let's see. Nightshade. Let's go with another Nightshade. And, uh, let's see, one more Nightshade would do it. Yes, it's not that important. Gina has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay, so that's that. And, uh, well, we're going up into the Pokemon Daycare, and, uh, let's see. We gotta heal up my Pokemon again. Now, Toxic Batman's about to evolve, and, uh, I need, to, I need to see that through. Actually, speed button that right there. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and uh, battle this guy right here. I'm the best in my class at my Pokemon! Okay. That's cool of you. Alright. Reelingster Rob, and he will be coming out with this Mankey right here. And uh, that is not a good idea right there, using a fighting attack. Or using a, using a dark type attack. So let's go with the Leech Life. Get some of that HP back. And, uh, not. Yeah, it's not that powerful. So. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here to Smoke. That's right, you can't hurt me. Can't hurt this Pokemon right here. And uh, look at that. Coming out with a Diglett, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And uh, let's go with the Water Gun. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that was that. And uh, I wonder if this guy battles you. Yes, he does. Okay, so yeah, the clock based events don't usually work right here, so I guess we should just battle him. Coming out with this Growlithe, and uh, again, I'm still thinking that I could capture a Growlithe right here. That way I can actually uh, I can actually use him or something like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and use that speed button. That's why it's there for. And uh, Supersonic. God dang it. Okay. Nightshade. Wow, you're pretty much screwing yourself over with these Roars attacks, and uh, look at that. Erwin grows to level 29, Smoke, getting some experience points too, and uh, yeah, tough little kid right here. Alright, so let's see. Actually, you know what, let's battle that last trainer and see what this whole uh, daycare center is all about. So let's see, I'm confident in my ability to raise Pokemon. Wanna see? Yes, I do. Speed button! Ninetales! Holy... Okay, so that right there is scary because uh, we don't usually see Ninetales until way later on, but again, game is confusing me. Game is uh, making me feel a whole bunch of emotions and all that stuff and crud. God dang it. Yeah, it will not let me win right here. Okay, so let's go with Super Potion. Ember will not work. Here we go. Water Gun. Eat that. Eat that again. Come on. Let's go with another water gun and god dang it. Okay. Come on. There we go. That's how you beat a Ninetales. And, uh, why does it sound like a... <laughs> I, was, I was about to say, why does it sound like a gym battle? Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, let's see. Daycare. Let us raise your Pokemon for you. And, uh, well, let's see. Um, talk to this lady. I'm the daycare lady. Do you have eggs? My husband raises you see, and you're shocked to find an egg. How incredible could that be? Okay, I think they still give you an egg, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. You know about Pokemon eggs? I was raising my, with my wife, and we were shocked to find an egg. Incredible as that. Would you like to... Okay, so let's go ahead and deposit a Pokemon, because they still give us an... They still give us a Pokemon egg right here. And if you guys remember my Pokemon Crystal walkthrough, I actually 
got myself an Eli kid. That's luck right there. That was all luck. And I don't think I need Lord Needle anymore, so let's go ahead and take that guy right there, and uh, let's go back straight to the daycare center guy and see what he has to say now. Give me the egg, buddy. Yes, yes, yes. Incredible, that is it. The egg, so we got the odd egg, and uh, so I didn't want the egg, so I kept it around. Okay, so let's see. So we got an egg right here, and uh, we don't know what this Pokemon will be. An odd egg, a Pokemon egg, I wonder what it could be. So, that's pretty nice right there, and, uh, well, that, there's nothing else that you can do right here. I think we've already accomplished that. Or, hold on. Daycare lady, you can raise Pokemon for you. Actually, no, I don't want Pokemon being raised right now. So, we're going to be moving on right here, and, uh, it's not raining anymore. We defeated everybody, and, uh, we're going into Goldenrod City right here. As you can see, it's all beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so, I think in the next episode, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going into Goldenrod, uh, taking care of a few things, maybe battling the gym leader and all that stuff. We'll see. We'll see what happens.